Hey guys, it's Britt, and I want to talk a little bit about this Season 7 Game of Thrones trailer. Now, Talking Thrones not only gave me a shout-out yesterday, which was super sweet of him, but he also did a really great breakdown, and if, if you're looking for a breakdown, uh, he's your man, because I'm not going to be breaking down this trailer, I'm just going to be giving you my thoughts. So, within the brief moments, and I'll, I'll link the trailer up here too, in case you haven't seen it, but, uh, basically, HBO, once again, is giving us very, very little, and I, I, they're definitely doing that on purpose, because they just, they just want to get us hyped up, and, uh, every time they release a trailer, I, I get really excited but also, by the time the trailer ends, I'm really disappointed because of how little we're getting from these trailers. Uh, this trailer in particular, you know, if you've seen it, it's just John, uh, Danny, and Cersei just walk into their respective thrones. And uh, Cersei in particular at the end of this trailer. There's a lot of speculation going around about this this uh, Cersei blowing cold air out. Uh, some people are thinking that maybe she's going to be the, the Night's Queen or that the Night's King is going to come in and kill her. And that's, that's a valid theory, but I personally don't believe that that particularly is what is going on. Um, I think people are taking this trailer very, very, very literally. Uh, just because there's, there's not much to go on and there's just not much to speculate on. Um, that Dan really hasn't broke down already. He does a great job, but uh, here's my take on the whole Circe ice breath thing. Uh, I think it's more to symbolize that yes, winter has come beyond Winterfell. Um, it's stretching towards King's Landing, where we all know is very, very warm, and sunny, and there's just there, there's gardens and everything, which uh, will now be covered in snow. And I think that they're also referencing way back in season one, where Danny uh, is, or was that season one? It was either season one or season two. I can't remember. I, I think it was season two where she's having those visions of the future, a prophecy-esque scenario going on. I think that's a subtle nod to that, that yes, Daenerys has reached the Iron Throne. And uh, yeah, it is snowing in King's Landing. As for the eye... I think Talking Thrones said it best, and I think it's the Ice King, or as I will now refer to him, uh, Ice Voldemort. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot to go on. There, there's a lot of things going on with blue eyes and icy blue eyes. I think it is the the Night King, and. Just Talking Throne said it best if you watch his video. I basically, I agree with him. I always used to think that uh, that the Ice King had a rather small nose, but then, <laughs> then Talking Thrones pointed out that he has a, a rather large nose. And um, for those of you who are saying it, it's a giant's nose, and they're, they're, it's the reference to the... 
inside a giant's eye. We all live inside a giant's eye. Uh, that that could be true too, but that's not a theory that I currently uh, subscribe to. But if if you want to believe that, you are more than welcome to. I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions. Um, let's see what else can I say. Uh, John is still in Winterfell, as we see. Uh, Cersei is obviously still in King's Landing, sitting on that throne. But there's nobody in that throne room, so I don't know if that's just wanting them wanting to show off the set or whatever for the trailer. But I found that interesting that nobody was there. Uh, and Danny, we also don't see anybody uh, with her, but that is a cool looking throne. Daenerys kind of annoys me, but she has a cool looking throne. I'd be happy to sit on that if I were her. But anyway, guys, that, those are my thoughts. Uh, if you want to talk about this trailer, feel free to do so in the comments below. And until next time, guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.